I call on now again, Minister uh, Lian Sakong, please, Minister. Thank you so very much for inviting me to speak at this uh, important uh, ASEAN Plus Six Social Dialogue. I personally believe the power of dialogue. I think dialogue is one of the most powerful tools that we human beings have. So I think uh, most of human problems can be, I believe, solved through dialogue. But um, let me uh, share you my own experience about how I involved in dialogue process in our country. Uh, I was a student in 1988 when we students started the democracy movement. So since 1988, I never stopped working for democracy movements. And then uh, eventually I joined uh, the Chin National Front. And in my activist life, the past eight years, since 2012, when the President Deng Xing invited us for peace talk. I was involved deeply in this peace process. And then since 2015, I became the vice chairman of Union Peace and Dialogue Joint Committee. And that committee was a joint committee. Uh, the chairperson of uh, uh, the UPDJC that we call it was Noong San Suu Kyi. And I was one of uh, the vice chairman uh, representing ethnic groups. And then during the past eight years, we have engaged a series of dialogue. And unfortunately, the power that I believe so much, dialogue was not so much effective in our own country. In January, 2016, the past union conference, I presented uh, the proposal for the future federal union. And the future federal union based on the principle of democracy and federalism was presented. I outlined 22 federal principles, but in five years, we could agree only one of those principles. The rest was neglected. And then eventually, Do Aung San Suu Kyi herself also proposed five federal principles in 2019, August 28. But that also was, I think, alarm the military who oppose all our proposal for building our country based on the principle of federal, uh, democracy and federalism. So when they, they, uh, they learned that our San Suu Kyi principles and our principle was very similar and the same, I think that was one of the reasons that they are so afraid and eventually uh, took over the state power through military coup in uh, February the 1st of this year. So I think uh, we have been struggling for our country to rebuild based on uh, what we have agreed in 1947. In 1947, our country was built as a union. And that time we signed the Panglong Agreement. And then Panglong Agreement Article 5 was to build the union based on federalism. Panglong Agreement number seven was practice democracy as uh, a governing system. So, but these two principles, mainly to this principle was neglected for all these years. And uh, when the military coup, we gather together all these activ activists and uh, colleagues, those who are working uh, for human rights, democracy and uh, equality for all these years. And then we came together, that time actually not based on elected or non-elected or ethnic or whoever, those who opposed the military regimes came together. And then we discussed what would be our future look like? What is our main trust? And then our main trust first is, we have to oppose this military coup, this military regime. In our country, there has been uh, four times already the military coup. In 1958, it was partially military coup. And then 62 was, uh, the military coup was led by General Newman in 1988 and then now. So why this kind of military coup and military dictatorship came back again and again in our country? So we have to eliminate this kind of system, this kind of uh, practice. So that was one of our objectives. So if we are going to replace this military dictatorship, then what will be our chosen political system? And then that is the time we discuss about uh, what we have proposed at the Union Peace Conference since 2016 to 2020, all these years, 
several meetings, several conferences, several dialogues, but we could not get it because military always prevented. They have most powerful institution in the country because 2008 constitution was drafted by them and then they adopted, adopted by them. And then that constitution was purposefully created for the military dictatorship. So we could do, uh, we could do nothing under that uh, constitution. But when after military coup, when we gather together without the military, democratic forces, Bama or ethnic groups, whoever, we came together and we discussed. And then within two weeks, within two weeks, just two weeks, we could agree five guiding principles for our future and 37 federal and democratic principles, which we issue as a federal charter on the 31st of March this year. Perhaps you, you all know that our charter. So in five years, we could not agree that principle. We could not agree that our future, our, fu our country would be based on democratic system, based on the federal system. We could not agree, but without military, we could agree in two weeks. That was powerful message for me in 70 years of our country history. That was the strongest message and the strongest prepositions that we came together, all the people of Burma, all the people of Burma. So I think that is a hope for our future. It's a hope for our future. Perhaps I can relate for you a little bit of uh, our history. Of what is the difference this time? What is the difference? In 1962, there was a military coup. The purpose, the objective, the way they conduct the military coup is exactly the same as in 2000, uh, 2021. And in 88 also, the same. These are military groups, the same group, the same people, the same objective. But what is the dif uh, The difference is that in 2000, uh, 1962, when the General Ne Win took over the state power, the reaction from ethnic groups and the Burma was not the same. In 1988, although we all are uh, united on the principle of democracy, we could not unite it very strongly on the federal system. So our movement did not succeed as it was supposed to be. But now in 2021, the whole country, the whole people from various regions, all the organizations, we come up together on the same purpose. The country should be built now on principle of federalism and democracy. We don't even say democratic federal. Now we call federal democracy. So this is the emphasis that we are making. Without a federal system, we cannot rebuild our country as a peaceful country, as a developed, as a decent country, where all the people can enjoy their peaceful life, where all the workers can enjoy the decent life, where all the people can have a meaningful life. So I think this is the most powerful thing that we are coming up together. And based on this charter, now we form this in a unity government as well as now we are in the process of creating national, uh, national Unity Consultative Council, which is one of the strongest council that we are, uh, uh, we are making. So I think this is the country is united. And then as you give me the titles, um, Federal Democratic Union of Myanmar, the future is now. We are, our future is in our hand and our future is in uh, making. And in this process, as uh, I highlighted in, when I delivered uh, our prime minister speech, uh, prime minister himself highlighted about the making of a new constitution based on, based on the democratic and federal principles. And, but the way we are making constitution for our future is now we are taking three steps. The first step of course is based on these intrinsic constitutional arrangement that we call it. During this period, we have to practice democracy. We have to practice a federal arrangement, federal system. So this is for that purpose, we are now drafting almost done uh, interim constitution. That's what we are doing. 
And then after that, we are hoping that we will have a transitional government. And then that time we are hoping we will be in Nebido or in Yango and the, the, the whole country will join us. And at that time, we, are, we will have a kind of transitional constitution. And based on that, we will draft a future constitution, a permanent constitution. As we all know, constitution making process cannot be done without people participation. So we will invite our people fully. And, you know, in, uh, in our country, in 19, uh, 1974, there was a constitution uh, uh, adopted by the socialist team. And then in 2008, the constitution adopted by military. During those constitution making process, people were not allowed to involve. Without people participation, they adopted the constitution for having their own power, holding their own power. So without people participation, we cannot choose a meaningful constitution. So we will be bringing our people from day one. Even now, we are inviting people and then trying to involve uh, the process uh, uh, where people can involve uh, very meaningfully. But there is a lot of challenges because of COVID, because of the military uh, regime, military council. We are not able to conduct uh, public consultation as much as we wish. But uh, thanks to uh, technology, through Zoom, through uh, media, through printed uh, materials, we are doing this process from uh, early May, as soon as NUT was formed. So as uh, we are now, we have a charter, and then the charter also is a review based on that principle will rebuild our country. And then we are hoping, hoping, yeah. and we are sure that we will get the country that we are hoping so much for. We have been struggling seven years through arms struggle, yeah. through people struggle, through, you know, all these uh, difficulties, bloodshed, death, destruction, under seven years of civil war, under these military regimes, so much blood has been already shed. So much life has been already sacrificed. So much is we lost already. Okay. So we need your support. And then in this process, I think our neighboring countries, ASEAN, please join us. And then international community, we are all human beings. The human being must struggle together. Thank you.